That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. Friday edition. So oh, I just, I, I just oh, added. Yeah. I just added my Sports Center voice. Coming up next, Scott Hansen has to wolf down his dinner because a weather delay makes sure he's got to go out and quad box with David Carr. Quad box with David Carr. By pretty, the way, great, pretty, yeah, great pretty fantasy, good team fantasy day. Quad box with David Carr. Hey, look, you know he's a handsome man. Okay. Yes. So we just talked to the star of the Browns yes. from yesterday. Baker Mayfield was five of six, 77 yards, and a dime touchdown pass. Yes. Our first one for you, Rich Eisen. Yes. The Browns will be a top five offense in the NFL this year. Uh, hmm. All kinds of weapons. Not an overreaction. It isn't. They got it. They got it working. And as long as he's got his head screwed on straight and he doesn't do anything stupid and he really does mean that he is a different human being and he does deserve the second chance he's going to get. Kareem Hunt's around the corner too, okay? Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb are coming at you from the backfield. Okay, let's have Baker Mayfield do a little bit of the play action RPO stuff. Okay, who's the one who's cutting across the middle? That would be Jarvis Landry. Who's the one who's faking like going across the middle but cutting up? The field trying to take the top off, that's Odell Beckham. Who's the guy that's going to help maybe even pass block but then go out and be the tight end that, that gives you matchup nightmare? It's Njoku. They've got it. What's Name me another offense that can do that for you. They got the big names. Okay. Baker's got the big arm and a mustache. Not an overreaction. All right. Not an overreaction. Okay, we put him in the Hall of Fame to start the show. Daniel Jones, he's got a beautiful bust. It looks like the bad Ronaldo it, on it. It really, really does. It really, really does. Daniel Jones was five <laughs> of five last night, 67 yards. <laughs> Don't put it on the screen because you're going to make and me a, laugh. And a beautiful <laughs> touchdown pass. <laughs> Daniel Jones, Rich Eisen, focus. I need you focus. Okay, I'm sorry. Daniel Jones will be the Giants' starting quarterback by week four. Overreaction. Week one at Stop Dallas. It. Week two home for the Bills. Week three, they go down to Tampa, lose to the Bucks. Stop they got it. the Redskins coming in week four. Daniel Jones. You know what's an overreaction maybe? Is that is that with Golden Tate out for four games and Sterling Shepard potentially hurt and Odell's not there, that there's nobody to catch the football for the Giants. How's that for an overreaction? Okay. I understand they got Cody Latimer and they got uh, Benny Fowler. They, they basically have the bottom half of the Broncos depth chart at wide receiver from a couple years ago. But they got Saquon back there. And Eli is going to start this season against the Cowboys. And then the New York football Giants are going to be home for Buffalo at Tampa, home for Washington. They should win at least half those games. And Eli Manning will win half those games. Your home opener against the Bills should be a W. At Tampa should be a W. And I know there's a lot of should be's. And guess what? If Ezekiel Elliott's starting week one. Yeah, but if they're 0 and 3. Not starting week one. It's coming home. Washington's coming to their place. They can't lose another division game. Overreaction. Next. Okay. All right. All right. Next. All right, Kyler Murray. Don't well, put that up there again. It does look, <laughs> the bad Ronaldo does look like this particular shot of Daniel Jones. It is, it's really, it is amazing. Really, really funny. Kyler Murray was six of seven last night, 44 yards, yes. looked great. Kyler Murray will be offensive rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. Well, who else is there going to be? I'm just sitting here thinking right now. One of the running backs we're not thinking of, Hollywood Brown. I mean, I think I I I don't think it's an overreaction. One more about he's, the, he's your clubhouse leader. One right more now. on the Cardinals. There will be a top ten offense this year. Top ten. That's an overreaction. It is. I mean, Kyler Murray's going to have to have some form of a. Dave uh, Johnson, where if it's Gerald, he's going to have Kirk. to have some form of a uh, unless he is like Deshaun Watson from a couple years ago. I guess I shouldn't say that, that the rookie's going to have some ups and downs and more downs and ups. Not with the way that Deshaun Watson performed two years ago, and I know that Mahomes wasn't technically a rookie, but it was his first go-round as a starter. They were dead last in offense last year. That's a, that's a tall order, Nordberg. What else? Looking at Dwayne Haskins. Went to 8 for 14, yes. buck 17. Did have two interceptions, was sacked twice. The Redskins should wait 
to start Dwayne Haskins. Uh, that's an overreaction. Get him out there. Get him out there. What's the difference between him and Daniel Jones then? Because you've got Eli Manning at the end of his career, and the Giants are not going to bench. So we don't want to hurt Eli's feelings season. for the sake of the football team. The sake of the football team is still good in Eli Manning's hands. Case Keenum, you know what you have. Dwayne Haskins was drafted. Let's go. Let's go. And also, Dwayne Haskins, as we all know, knows what it's like to play in the crucible of a stadium with 90,000 people in it. And perform. Different set of circumstances. Totally apples and oranges. Redskins should start Dwayne Haskins. That's an overreaction. The New England Patriots had 13 different guys catch passes last night. I thought it was 12. 12, 13. If it's 12, even better. The Patriots will not need Rob Gronkowski this season. We're making that decision right now? That's an overreaction. They had a lot of great young receivers look good, catch passes. Overreaction. With the backup quarterback. What are you talking about? Don't you want Del Tufo to eat a hat? I'm going to be consistent here. Gronk is going to be coming back. I want you both to eat hats. Gronk's coming back. Uh, but uh, that said, okay, uh, their, their running back group is strong. Very strong. But I can't sit here right now and say they won't need Gronk just because Stidham and Hoyer found a dozen different receivers in Detroit yesterday in a preseason game. That's an overreaction. Let's go to the Chicago Bears. Yes, David sir. Montgomery, yes. great pick, third round. Yes. Climbing up fantasy draft boards. Had a touchdown last night. He did. David Montgomery, top five in rushing this season for the Chicago Bears. Top five in rushing for the NFL? Top five NFL rushes. That is an year. overreaction. My God. That's the big, biggest overreaction that we've had yet. No, 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 no. Like top no. five would be, what, what, what was the fifth most rushing yards last year? What was it? You know, Chris Carson had how many? Like uh, 1,100 yards or something like that? Yeah, 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 1151? No. No, 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 no. Tariq Cohen's going to get a lot of touches too. That's an overreaction. What else do you have over there? Okay. All right, last one, last one, last one. Yes. Lamar Jackson was four for six throwing the football last night. 56 yards. Did have a touchdown. Yes. Zero rushing yards for Lamar Jackson. Correct. Take the under on Lamar Jackson rushing attempts this year. No, take the over still. What, are they going to run him in preseason? No way. It's it, The preseason is for him to get back there and wing it around and be more comfortable doing that. That's an overreaction. Take the over on his rushing attempts. Being, again, 138 was what Cam's most – in a season was, in which that's what Brian Billick threw out to John Harbaugh um, on NFL Network, and Harbaugh said, take the over. Still take the over. You know what's not an he, here's Here was an interesting, and that's overreaction Friday, uh, Monday on a Friday. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.